Everybody's gone, aren't they? Did they have a good time? I'm sure they did. You okay? Of course. But you go home. And be careful. I don't like that scooter thing you drive around. I'm worried about you. But you're so alone. And I saw the letter from the bank. Oh, my. You did? Oh, well. So, I'm a little behind. Everybody is. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm tired, and you better start back home. <laughs> Here, kiddo. Happy birthday. You need it more than... to know what it is. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. Oh, good. experience something lucky, group number one sees it as more than luck, more than 
coincidence. I see it as a sign. Evidence that there is someone up there watching out for them. Group number two sees it as just pure luck. A happy turn of chance. I'm sure the people in group number two are looking at those 14 lights in a very suspicious way. For them, this situation is a 50-50. Could be bad. Could be good. But deep down, they feel that whatever happens, they're on their own. And that fills them with fear. Yeah, there are those people. But there's a whole lot of people in the group number one. And they see those 14 lights looking at a miracle and deep down they feel that whatever's going to happen there will be someone there to help them and that fills them with hope see what you have to ask yourself is what kind of person are you are you the kind that sees signs 